Hey y'all, welcome to A Country Girl's Attic. My name is Tina and I'm so happy you're here. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the items that I picked up from two of the four thrift stores that I visited while we were on vacation at the beach. The first thrift store I went to was a consignment shop and they were really pricey. The things in there were extremely expensive but I did manage to find these and they had these for half off that day so I ended up spending around two dollars and change for them which I didn't think was a really bad deal they are metal curtain tie backs and I will probably be using these in my living room thrift store that I checked out was operated by the Brunswick County Seniors and this one had a lot of interesting things in it. I really enjoyed picking up things from here. The first thing I picked up was this sweet little honey jar. I'm sure it's not an antique or vintage or anything like that. It was 75 cents but I just really liked the old feel that it still had. So I picked this up and I do plan on putting my own honey in this little jar and setting it on my table and using it. I just thought it was adorable. I like that it says, produced in the heart of God's country. I just thought that was really sweet. The next item that I picked up was just a simple pie tin. It was 25 cents as is. As you can see, it had some scratches on it, but I wasn't concerned about that because I'm probably going to use this for a DIY project, so the scratches won't be bothering me at all. I just thought it was really cute to be able to pick up a 25 cent pie tin to use as a DIY. The next item I'm going to show you is a sweet little terracotta bowl. It doesn't have any markings or labels on it, so I'm not sure where this piece came from. I paid $1 for it, and I just love the little message that it has on the outside. It says, Lord, bless the bread that we have baked. Bring love and peace as we partake. I just think that it has an old feel about it, and I just love this little prayer. This item I picked up for my dad. He is a U.S. history fanatic he absolutely loves american history and world war ii is one of his favorite things to study he absolutely loves this picture anytime he sees this it brings a tear to his eye so i'm going to give him this for christmas it doesn't have the original papers with it or anything like that but i know my dad he will still appreciate this piece and i know he will cherish it the rest of his life now these two little pieces are a set and I thought they were absolutely adorable and I cannot wait to use these for Christmas. They are a sweet little salt and pepper shaker set. I thought they were so cute and I did pay 99 cents for each one but I still thought they were really simple and sweet. I love that they're a white color and that they'll go with any kind of decor that I set them up with. So I picked these two little salt and pepper shakers up. Now this next set I absolutely love. I love the old vintage feel that these have. They are plastic, I believe. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, they do have some markings on the back. Uh, I'll take that apart and show you now. But they, uh, they just have a plastic feel to me about them. I'm not sure what year these are from or even the make of it for that matter but i just absolutely love the vintage era that this has about it and i just love these pieces i am obsessed with the old farmhouse feel and to me they just give that uh feel they give that feel to me i love the the little lady holding her butter churn in her hand and the young fella holding his musket. I just love the feel that I get from these two pieces. And I cannot wait to display them in my home.
this is another piece that seems to have some age to it. It looks like it has sat on some grandmother's table for many years and looks like it has been loved and worn. And I got this for four dollars and I really do love the look of this. It, you can see that it has some staining in it and things like that. But to me, that just adds to the vintage old character that it has. And I cannot wait to use this piece as well. I love old heirloom looking pieces and I just absolutely love it. Now, vintage pieces or not, this thrift store was just chock full of pieces that looked vintage to me. So I picked them up because I just loved the old feel that they had. And I just get the same feel from this little loaf bread holder. I think it's so cute. It's just a, a little wooden piece that you can set your loaf of bread on. I paid $3 for this and I just absolutely love it. I think it's just precious. I'm sure you've seen the vintage pictures of the grandmother and the grandfather breaking their bread and saying their blessing. And I would love to put this with those pictures i have the older gentleman but i'm looking for the lady if anyone knows where i can find one please let me know in the comment box below now this little wooden tray i picked up for two dollars it has a little embroidered napkin inside and it says surf with love and it does look like it was hand stitched i'm not sure and it does have a stamp on the back that says the creative circle I do love that they incorporated the embroidery with the wooden tray. I think that just looks so pretty. And they did put a piece of glass over top of it to protect the fabric. I, I love this little piece. My next piece is a sweet little primitive looking wood box. I love it. Uh, it, the lid opens up and you can put or hide little things inside. I think it's just so cute. I can't wait to set this up in my home as well. I love the two-story little farmhouse on the front and the little birds and the trees and, the, of course, the fence. I love the little fence. It does not have a manufacturer or maker stamped anywhere on the box, but I do love it. And it didn't have a sticker price on there when I got it so when i took it to the counter the lady charged three dollars for it which i still thought was a really great price i also picked up this charger plate i paid two dollars for it and while the back of it is plastic the top of it is actual wood and i thought that was really interesting and i thought it would be really need to use this in a DIY, especially since the top of it is real wood. I don't know if someone actually stuck this wood on because it does seem to be coming apart in a few places, but like I said, it is actual wood and I just thought this would be really nice to use in a craft. Now, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this piece, but I just fell in love with it when I saw it. I think it reminds me so much of my childhood. We used to say this prayer when we went to sleep, and I just, I don't know, the print just reminds me of when I was a little girl. I love it. I, like I said, I don't know what I'll end up doing with it, <laughs> but we shall see. It um, is a Norman Rockwell print, and it is put out by Boys Town. Um, I'm not sure if these they give these blankets out to children or what they do with this, but I just I picked this up for two dollars and I just thought that was a really good deal for this and I cannot wait to use this. The last item I have to show you is this sweet little sheet. I picked him up in the children's section for $3, and I just thought he was absolutely adorable. 
it, it has a little bell and it actually does ring and I just think it's the cutest little thing. I can't wait to set this thing up in my home and show him off. It has a flat bottom, as you can see here, for easy setting. He sets up all by himself. And I just think he is absolutely precious. I love this piece. Be sure to be watching out for the next video when I show you what I picked up at the other two thrift stores that I visited. If you love thrifting videos, trash to treasure projects, Dollar Tree DIYs, crafting, and more, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you become part of my YouTube family. Don't forget to hit that bell and please leave me a thumbs up and a comment. I love hearing from you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe. God bless.